Hey girls, so today I'm going to talk about spring fashion. Uh, spring fashion is something that we uh, all love, that we all wait for during the boring winter. And um, in Montreal, I mean, spring fashion is most for most of the people I know, like, it really is going to start in April when it's going to really start to be hot. Because, I mean, right now it's probably minus in between minus, it can go until minus 20 most of the days, but usually it's around zero. So, um, yeah, but I'm still gonna, like, I mean, Forever 21 right now, we have big sale, big spring fashion sale, so I'm gonna, like, show you some items that, uh, I like about spring and what, for me, spring fashion is about. So first of all, I'm gonna talk about bags, uh, cause you can't go wrong with bags. So uh, this one's a clutch, and it's just in a jeans clutch with a gold, oops, with a gold chain and the red detail, and it's just so cute. And um, yeah, when I'm just going out, I just always take this because it's it's small and it's just uh, very pretty. It's not too bright, but it is kind of it's not something that you would wear in the winter. Personally, I wouldn't. Uh, second thing is a crazy huge bag. <laughs> this is uh, from Aldo, I believe. And, um, yeah, that's it's just having birds everywhere. And, uh, yeah, it's crazy huge. It's uh, ringed inside. This comes from, oh no, it's come from uh, Spring. It's a shoe, um, a shoe place. But uh, they have some very, very pretty bags. So. Yeah, it has like little pockets in the front, so I usually use this when I'm going to school. So yeah, I just think that uh, birds and like prints are fashion right now. And yeah, I'm sorry I broke something. Okay. So yeah, that's for the bags. Sorry. Uh, oh no. It's broken. No. All right, sorry. <laughs> um, then after we have hair accessories, so I did a whole video talking about my hair accessories that I love. But um, right now it's a lot of floor prints and bows. Uh, like like I said in my other video, it's very very in right now. So I have a lot of clips uh, with flowers and bows. A big big bow for. When I'm doing a bun, I just like having a crazy huge bow, and you know some other little bows like that, cheetah print bow, and a little bobby pin flower, very cute. Um, I like to have headbands, uh, different kind of headbands. That's all it, as well into my hair video, so I'm gonna like go fast on that. I have a cheetah print one because cheetah print is kind of sexy. Um, spring, summer, very very cute. Um, I have this wild pink one, but the, it does details in your hair. I'm going to show you guys if ever you didn't watch the other video. You know, this is kind of a braid, a uh, waterfall braid style, so that can be very pretty if you don't know how to do braids like me. And uh, the other one is uh, white with little prints. So I just think that's very fa fashionista. If like, you're wearing a white dress and you don't know what two accessories to go with, just go with that. Uh, all what I just showed you hair accessories comes from Arden. Uh, it's uh, it's mostly a accessory store, but they have uh, shoes and leggings and um, they have t-shirts and bikinis and stuff like that. But I usually just buy um, most of the time I just buy hair accessories and necklaces there. So yeah, anyways, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about accessories and then clothing. So um, accessories very tendance going with the bows again. I have a lot of necklaces with bows. Uh, white have been quite a good tendency, like, uh, not like crazy white, but I mean, um, like, like dry it off white, like off white. So yeah, this is a pearl necklace with a, a bow and three little pearl going down, and it's just super cute. I just love wearing this whenever I'm wearing something like black. I just want something white. Then I have another bow little necklace. It's a uh, rose, rose gold chain with a rose gold bow. This is the bow and it has little like fake diamonds on it. Very cute. 
But then there is a uh, braid uh, necklaces. So this is half braid, half pearl with flowers. So you can wear it like that, or you can wear it however you want to wear it. You can do like a double, which is usually what I do. I do it like that, you know. And um, yeah, so it's braided, has pearls, has a little flower. Very nice for uh, spring, summer, slashy. Then, um, during winter, I'm not somebody that w that's going to wear bangles, but when spring starts, oh girl, I take all my bangles out. So those are uh, gold and um, silver bangles. Ugh. So yeah, I have uh, lots of bangles. I have even more. I have like crazy lots of bangles. But yeah, I just love wearing bangles. Uh, I don't know why. I just think it's just so cute with everything. It goes, it matches everything, and it's, I mean, it's a piece to have in your collection of accessories. Then, uh, watches, big watches. Um, as you can see, like, I mean, we're not, we don't watch time on our watches. I mean, when I wear my watch, I don't even look at it. I mostly look at on my phone and all that, but. I just think it's really trendy having a watch, and this one is uh, pink and has uh, little crystals all around, and it's just very cute. So I just think it's very, very trendy to have a watch to match with your things. Then for more formal events, there's the crystal necklaces, which mine is like that and it's uh, gold with a lot of little crystals so that's maybe for prom or if you're going to a party or something that this is very 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 nice to have um, then I have my earrings my yeah my earrings uh, those have um, little um, I don't know how you call those but uh, yeah and I think it's just kinda a cowboy uh, little style uh, I like wearing those when I'm doing like I'm wearing a destroyed denim or anything that that's kind of more a cowgirl or something like that. So yeah, that's something cute. And I don't know if you if you have seen, but uh, Treaty uh, earrings have been a lot um, like the studs, but like the the Treaty have been a lot uh, getting out recently. And <laughs> those are the ones I have. It's uh, these. Actually, it's dices, so yeah, I have a couple of them, different sizes, and I just thought it was very cute, so I bought a pair, and uh, yeah, I have like 20, well, not 20, but I have like, um, I have 12 ear, uh, pairs, and it cost me $3, so that's quite good. So yeah, so that's for, um, oh no, and yeah, there's, uh, uh, some glasses. Um, I think that this year a lot of the summer glasses are going to be like that, like mostly kind of retro style. I think it's very in right now. When I went shopping for my sunglasses, most of the style was like that. I think it's super cute. Uh, I like them having colors because uh, neon and colors like that are really in, so I took a uh, flashy pinky and yeah, so. Then going off for clothes. So when, like beginning of March, I start changing my whole style. So first off, I change uh, by putting mostly olive green colors for pants. So it looks probably gray in the camera, but it's actually green. And uh, yeah, those are tr like they they arrive uh, a bit before your ankle. Like they're uh, a tree fort pants. Which is as well good because if it's hot outside, I'm just gonna wear those. You know, I'm not gonna freeze off because it's not shorts, but it's still quite cute. So, uh, green olive is a good color because it's not too dark, but it's not too light. So, you're in between uh, winter and summer, so that's quite good. Then, uh, like I've been saying, uh, white washed off destroyed jeans. So yeah, this is my favorite pair of jeans, and they're just destroyed, and they're like, you know, bl light blue, almost white jeans, and I always pair them with this uh, braided kind of style, and I just think they're crazy, very pretty, so 
yeah, the straight denim I think is as well good because it's not too, it's not gonna make you too cold or too hot, and it just calls summer. So yeah, for me, the straight denim is a, a masterpiece to have during spring. Another thing is um, brown. I think if well, it's, it, brown doesn't go to anybody I know, uh, but uh, if you're blonde like me, uh, you need a pair of beige brown jeans. So those are stretch, as you can see, and they're just very uh, skinny jeans. Well, skinny, yeah. Well, they're they're not in jeans; they're actually in cotton. But yeah, you know the principle. So they're really, really pretty and. Um, like uh, spring, summer, that's what I wear, like jeans, I wear really brown or olive colors because it's just so pretty on your skin and yeah, I just really, really love uh, brown for uh, spring and summer because it's gonna it's gonna bring out like your, your hair and all that, so yeah then floral print, I'm coming back with my flowers, oh yes so floral print jeans have been crazy on this year uh, in the last uh, like summer and stuff like that. So those are my jeans that I have. They're like roses and uh, some brown weird things. And they're uh, they arrive uh, they're tree port as well. They arrive uh, like a bit under my knees. So that's quite good. I really love those jeans and um, yeah, floral prints are very in right now so yeah then for skirts uh, I'll go for a neon pair of skirt so this this is more of a sexy skirt uh, it's uh, light blue minty blue and it just has a, a zipper so that's kinda it's kinda bit uh, sexy but oh well and I bought this at H&M last year but I do wear it all the time during spring, seriously. I do adore this color. I don't know why, but it's just so pretty. And it goes with mostly everything. So, yeah. You need a mint, like a neon pink or neon blue or neon yellow. Well, maybe not yellow, but, you know, neon something in your collection. Then I have um, floral shorts. Uh, so, yeah, keeping off the, the floral because floral is very very trend tendance right now and it's a bit destroyed as well so it's quite cute um 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 oh and my last uh, pants is uh, another skirt and this one is floral as well and it's corally so yeah so that's quite it's a bit on the longer side it's less uh, sexy but yeah it's very 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 pretty I bought this one at um for every 21 so yeah that's uh, floral as well, and oh, I have something in my eye. Ugh. Then for t-shirts, uh, keeping on the floral, <laughs> I have a lot of florals uh, stuff. I'm sorry about that, and it has a braided neckline, so that's as well uh, started last year. Very like necklines that are braided or details on the neckline. That's very very cute. So um, yeah, that's my first t-shirt. Then I have uh, this cropped top, uh, brown as well, so brown can bring you, so that's the, the front, you know, and detail in the back, how cute is that? So uh, t-shirts with a lot of details are very in, very pretty, um, you know, showing off a little skin, not too much, but still quite a little, so it's, can, it's, it's sexy, but it's not on the, like, slutty size. So usually I would pair this t-shirt with my uh, uh, destroyed denim jeans and um, my bangles and uh, a smoky eye probably. So yeah, so that's the t-shirt. Then I have this uh, kind of blue chiffon t-shirt which has bows on it because I said it, bows are trendy. And that's what it looks like. So that's more chic, but uh, still quite pretty. And um, yeah, bowls are in style. Maybe not crazy like that, but uh, I, I see a lot of when I when I'm working. Since I'm working for Forever 21, I see a lot of T-shirts with bows. So um, yeah, bowls are quite in in trend right now. So maybe try to buy a couple stuff with 
uh, things. Now, if you are like me and you do have a quite itchy style, you don't want to throw all your black stuff away. No, you still want to be able to wear some. So, I have this t-shirt, which is Glory, and it has a floral, um, little, uh, like floral all around the neckline and the back. So, that's quite cute as well. You want for details, and yeah, that's... Very, very cute. It's not too much details, but it's still a little bit, I don't know, kind of cute. Then you maybe want, if it's if it's hot where you are <laughs> during spring, you want to change for blues. And what I have as a blues is um, the chiffon uh, pink, well, light pink blues with a lot of details, floral print details. And yeah, that's that's the blues. And yeah, so all around, it's like a little floral. It's very cute, lightweight. Uh, I love this for um, summer. And yeah, it's just looking up. It's very very cute. Uh, it it does look like a grandma blues during in the camera, but it's not. Believe me. Another is like I said, neon is trendy, and this is flash pink. People can't miss me if I'm wearing this. So, yeah, this is another blues. This one is uh, all the way through, but you can button up here so it's halfway for the sleeves. And, yeah, it's just crazy, sorry, crazy pretty. I really, really, really am in love with this. And uh, my last, actually, t-shirt is more of a, it's like cotton in the front. But in the back, it's uh, chiffon, so we kind of see a bit through it, and it's just uh, very pretty. It's purpley, so it's not too flashy, but it's not too dark, so it's kind of great for spring. And it's long in the back, which is good if you want to wear leggings. So yeah, that's good. So yeah, that's for the clothes. Um, now the makeup. My makeup totally changes. Uh, beginning, like right now, my whole makeup collection is gonna kind of change, and um, what I'm gonna be, what I'm, what I'm gonna be using is mostly browns for right now. Like, oh, all right, uh, sorry, I'm gonna be using a lot of brown, like my Naked palette, um, and uh, yeah, stuff like that. So uh, another good, kind of a cute little small dupe for the Naked palette is this Maybelline. Uh, quad and it's the 100 Sunset Seduction and it's just so pretty. It has four amazing colors. This orange, this orangey color is crazy amazing. I use it most of the time during the summer and this little silver brown and this dark brown amazing for uh, to go smoky, smoky eye. So yeah, I really 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 love this quad. Uh, then you want to have bright colors, and uh, I've, if you go a lot into drugstores, you will have seen that Revlon and L'Oreal have been coming out with new uh, quads. So Revlon, uh, this is the only one I have. It's the, from the color stay, and it's the one that fell and broke. So yeah, and it's called um, uh, 540. I think it's inspired. I think that's the name. Yeah. All right, now it's just crazy bright. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, so those are the four colors from the palette. Uh, very nice greens and um, crazy light colors for uh, spring. Then uh, from Sephora, I have this uh, fifth five quad. Well, five quads well, on a quad. If it, there's five little things but it's whatever um it's a it's called I don't know I don't even know what it's called uh, what's the name of this oh it's it's I island oasis it's number six it's 16 so yeah so it's you know light colors a bit of dark colors so you can play with the colors it's very nice uh, it's more on the pricey size but it is Quite pretty. So yeah, that's from Sephora and L'Oreal have been coming out with two, uh, with their, their new uh, quads like this. So I have two of them. 
This one is the Hollywood Icon. Amazing purples and yellows, so you can do a crazy, uh, well not smoky, but you can do a uh, quite good eye with those. I really, really love those makeup. And the other one is a uh, 560 uh, shopping, icon? shocking, shopping spree. And those are more in the curly size, which is cute as fuck. So I really love those uh, corals and orangey for uh, spring. I think it's very, very, very nice. Very not too light, not too dark. So yeah, it's colors to go to, I guess. So yeah, so that's for my eyes. Then for my skin, uh, I'm gonna start using something that has SPF inside, not to get uh, sunburns. So usually I go for the CoverGirl Nature Looks um, uh, Liquid Silk Foundation. So this is what it looks like, and this is a trio tan because I'm crazy light like that. And it has SPF 10, so it's not too much SPF, but it is, it does quite have some SPF, so that's good. Then as a bronzer, this is the cheapest bronzer you could ever have. It's the NYC uh, Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder, and it's this brown little powder. I've used this all summer long. I adore this bronzer, okay? So, yeah. Then for the lips, uh, you want to go for more light colors. You don't want to stay in your crazy dark purples. You, well, you can still use some if it's cold or if it's dark days, like rainy. But uh, I usually change for more pinky, curly, and I went shopping. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I have. Um, from the collection, Kate, the new, the new Kate collection, I have two. I have, uh, this one, which is 110, and it's called, mm, 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 mm. Rosetto, so that's the name, it's Rosetto, and it's a, uh, pinky red color, so it's, it's on the more bright side, but it's still not too dark, so it's kind of wearable every day. And the other one is, um, oh, I'm sorry, Rosetta was in the name. So I guess they only have the number. So the number is 110, and this one is 113. And it's a nude. So nude starts mostly during spring and summer. So I love wearing nude during spring and summer. So yeah, I bought myself a nude. Then you don't want to wear, like I said, too much red, but if you do, with something light, so this is a baby lips from Maybelline, and it's yeah, it's, you see it's red, but since it's a moisturizer lip balm, it's not gonna get crazy red on your lips, so it's not gonna be too um, too dark. And it's called uh, Cherry Me. So yeah. Uh, then I go for a light purple uh, lipstick. This is by NYC. And it's 405 Blue Rose, so it's it's purple but it's light, so it's not dark. So, you know, you can still wear this during spring. And I have a, a purple lip gloss just to wear on daily basis without anything under. And this is by Essence, it's the Stay With Me Long Lasting Lip, Glo lip Gloss. And it's called Hottest, Hottest Pink, and it's a purpley glitter lip gloss, and it's just... Super cute. And then on the more pinky size, I have my CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm and in the color 235. And um, yeah, just 235. And it's a corally color. Very, very, very pretty. I love coral. So yeah. <coughs> then I have another... Uh, stay with me, long lasting lip gloss by Essence, and this is Candy Bar. It's another kind of orangey coral tone, very nice. And I have another lip gloss by Essence, but this is the XXL Shine lip gloss, and it's color Supergirl. So it's just a pink uh, shimmer lip gloss. And finally, I have my little uh, mini gloss mini lip gloss set by Sephora and it's five mini lip gloss and it's um it's just good for for uh spring and summer because you have dark colors and you have light colors so 
those are my colors and you see I only have like maybe this red and this dark red battery dark and all the others are quite light so I think it's great for um for summer so I'm just gonna tell you all the colors um this one is they don't tell me the color why well, don't they tell me the color well, maybe it's written in the back Oh, yeah, it's written in the back. You see? <laughs> okay. So if ever you don't like all the colors, you can just buy them separately. So the first pink, uh, right down here, is called uh, Candy Floss. Then this nice, amazing corally there is Sunset. The uh, purple here is, uh, wall light purple, is Tea Rose. The, oops. The red right here is called uh, Fiesta Red, and the purple right here is called uh, Berrylicious. So those are the five mini gloss in this package. Um, I bought this during Christmas, so I don't know if it's still available, but you can just go buy the real ones if you don't like all of them. So yeah, so that's all of my <laughs> spring fashion. Uh, I have a lot of things I have to say, but um, yeah, I hope you like this video, and I'll see you guys later for another tutorial, or, well, not a tutorial, but another video. So yeah, bye!